Hey folks, how's it going? This is Dominic here from everyone. Welcome to this edition of the Fish of the Week. This week we're actually going to take a look at a piece of fish that's been hitting our friends up in Canada. And this is actually one where uh, the attacker is trying to fish users by saying that they have a tax refund waiting for them. Uh, so if we take a look at this email itself, uh, you know, at, at face value, it looks, you know, pretty normal. There's nothing that much interesting about it. Uh, but if we deconstruct it, we can actually take a look at the image here, which is actually not hosted on a Canadian, um, you know, governmental web server. And also the link itself is pointing at somewhere in South Africa. So, and uh, one thing I want you to remember here is the amount uh, that uh, is due for refund here. So $276.15, uh, that will be meaningful a little bit later. So let's deconstruct the uh, form that's behind uh, the link here. So if we go to the form, uh, you know, very simply, it's asking for your social insurance number. So once you provide that, it sends you to another form to collect more data, asking you for credit card information, which I don't know why you would need for a refund, but they're collecting that. And finally, once you fill that up, it sends you to a thank you page where, you know, expect your refund in two to five working days. Uh, but here on the previous page, when you look at the amount due, it's saying $321.64, which is obviously very different from the amount that was listed in the email earlier. So why do these work? Well, you know, just like here in the U.S., the, uh, you know, it's tax season. And, uh, you know, if you're expecting a refund, obviously you want to get your money, right? So uh, the other thing that the attacker has done, which is in a way smart, is that they've compromised email accounts uh, to send these emails out. Again, this is to defeat email authentication as well as any form of uh, reputation-based services where it looks at sending IP addresses. So, so why do these work is, well, one is, you know, obviously every time you you touch somebody's uh, monies, you know, it becomes very emotional, um, especially if you're expecting a refund, you know, folks will, you know, will in a way client provide that information or to get their money back. Uh, and also the, 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 the attacker here, you know, tried to brand the email uh, looking like it's coming from the Canadian government here. Uh, but like, as we saw, as we break it down, you know, there's a few things in there that are not quite right. So how do we stop these phishing attacks, right? So one, uh, you know, again, from everyone's perspective, we provide uh, proactive detections of these phishing campaigns across the internet by looking at compromising structure, understanding what payloads are being weaponized out there and the different campaigns that are being set up. But also we have some more advanced detection technologies that goes beyond uh, basic email authentication. So as I mentioned earlier, if you are going, com going to compromise a legitimate uh, sender, uh, then anything that has to do with SPF, DKIM, DMARC will pass. So you have to go look at content. Um, and from a content side, you know, we have detections in regards to computer vision. So looking at logos and then, you know, making extra detections in terms of, you know, is this logo really belong where it's supposed to be? Uh, is the email and the infrastructure behind that represents uh, the logo that it, it pertains to be? And then we also do uh, comprehensive message analysis. So looking at the content, understanding the way the message is structured using natural language processing algorithms to determine the legitimacy of the message. And finally, as I mentioned, uh, through computer vision, we can do uh, brand detection. So these are all uh, advanced technologies that we apply against every single message that we inspect. And, you know, this allows us to make those detections pretty accurately without, uh, you know, a false, uh, without a high false positive rate. So if you guys uh, have any questions about how we go around at detecting phishing campaigns, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. You can reach out to us at uh, area1secure.com or you can send us an email at demo at area1secure.com. Well, thank you and have a great day and catch you next week.